Hey, good morning. Welcome to our time of spiritual transformation. Today is Monday, July 20th, our time to come together. Today's topic is this, what if evil is good? And you're going to scratch your head. You're like, where are you going, Eric? And remember, the time we come together every single morning, our opportunity to just look at our lives and say, where can I create transformation? Where can I transform my mind, transform just this opportunity, which then our own transformation creates transformation in our families, creates transformation in our communities and with our employees. There's just so much great opportunity. So we go back to this topic, this idea, what if evil is good? You guys are going to think that I've lost my mind, but let me tell you a little bit of a story. So on Saturday, I was I got up really, really early and I went and worked out and I got an email with some bad news in it. And it sent me into a spiral. It was a series of just several pieces of bad news that I've gotten. Um, just some things not going the way that I wanted them to in my business and really just frustration and just kind of all came out in this anger and frustration that I was experiencing. And I was like, man, I cannot believe this is going this way. And I have worked really hard, right? So to kind of give you some context, I've been working really, really hard inside of my business to create some changes and to create some things that I thought were going to make a difference. And they weren't working out, right? So the frustration and the anger were coming from places of, I got bad news on something, on somebody not wanting to move forward. But at the same time, I've been updating this message going, man, things are going to be so good. And then I get this feedback that it's not working, that it's not right. And it led me to this scripture, and then I'll kind of finish out the story for you, is in Genesis 50, 20, and this is Joseph. And if you know the story of Joseph, or maybe you don't, I mean, he is a kid who at a young age has this vision that God has given him this incredible thing to do, an incredible thing to accomplish to save his family and to save a nation. And he sees this at a very young age. And then he goes through hardship after hardship after hardship after hardship and nothing happens, right? It looks like he's never going to get to this vision until he eventually has breakthrough. And in Genesis 50, what we are seeing is Joseph towards the end of his life talking about all the evil he went through before he experienced the breakthrough. He'd been given the vision for the breakthrough but he went through all sorts of stuff that, you know, a lot of people just consider evil and awful before he ever saw the breakthrough. And this is what he said. You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. And so Joseph ends up saving the entire nation of Israel and Egypt because of his wisdom and because of what he had gone through. And he does not get into his position of authority and his a position of opportunity without all the evil and bad experiences that had happened. So on Saturday, as I said, I was going through this experience and just hit a wall like, oh my goodness, I'm so frustrated. This is not the outcome that I thought I was going to get. And I would tell you, I've had two or three outcomes like that. I thought I was going to have a different outcome and I'm not getting the outcome that I wanted. And about 45 minutes after that, I was sitting down and writing some things down, reflecting on what was going on. And I had kind of some cl a moment of clarity where I saw something I'd never been able to see before. And it was through that entire experience, I had not seen it. The frustration and the anger brought me to the clarity of being able to see it. And this morning, I was reflecting back on this, that over the last six to eight months, there have been things of clarity that I've seen that have only come out of failures that have only come out of things that aren't working, that if things were working, I would keep doing things the other way. But I am at a sense and a place of clarity that I've never had before, a sense of certainty and just positive that the direction that I'm heading in is exactly where God wants me to go, exactly the way. But I never get here without the pain and without the evil. And so what if the evil and the bad things, something that you look at in your life, you go, that's evil, that's awful, and that should have never happened to me. And all you're doing is focusing on what happened and not what the gift of the moment is, what it's trying to teach you. And that's one of the things that Joseph said is God meant it for good. Right? We look at a situation and go, why would God ever let that happen? Because maybe you needed that experience 
to then go forward into what is next. We look at so many things like it's black and white. This is evil or it's bad. It's good or it's wrong. And sometimes what we need to do is look at things and go, that is simply what it is. And what is the lesson that is in that for me to teach me so that I can move into the next place that God has called me? And I think that's the question I would ask you is, are you stuck in looking through a lens that is looking at something and saying it was evil and it was awful and it never should have happened to you? And it's the greatest gift that God has given to you because if you would take a step back and you would learn the lesson from it, it's the next level of breakthrough. So as crazy as it sounds, what if the evil you've experienced is good? What if God has a good plan for it and a way for you to live it out and walk it out because you're going to learn so much in the middle of it? And as we're stuck in the middle of this uncertainty of COVID and everything else that's going on, the still racial tensions that's there and everything we're experiencing in this polarizing place, it's like, what is going on? What can I, what I would ask you guys is what can I learn? What can I learn? And so that's what I want you to do to type up hashtag I'm learning. Hashtag I'm learning just simply embraces this idea that I'm going to take every single circumstance that I have and I'm going to recognize the fact that it's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to say, you know what, this isn't evil. This is something that can be used for my good. What's the lesson? So I'm learning in the middle of it. And I just hope that that just resonates with you, especially as we look at this opportunity. How would this transform your life? If you just simply changed the way that you were thinking about this, changed the way that you were looking at this, what would that transform? I'm going to tell you what I know. It would transform your today. It would transform your tomorrow. And it would also have the opportunity to transform eternity. And that's what transformation is about. And I'm so thankful for you being with us today. I will be back with you tomorrow morning, and I hope you will be here as well. Let me pray for us. God, I thank you so much for everyone that comes together. God, can we just take a step back and look at the things that are not going the way that we want them to go in our lives, and can we see the good that you have planned? Can we trust you for that good? Can we see what others have intended for evil and find the good in it, find the lesson that we're to learn and the opportunity? Because God, you are raising us up for a very specific purpose if we will embrace it. You are raising us up to have a specific influence, to love a particular people a certain way. And God, you've called each of us to that purpose, but sometimes we're so stuck in the things that have happened to us that we can't move past it and into the lesson. And I pray that everyone who's on this call that's in that situation would let go and that they would be open to learning what it is that you use that circumstance for and how they can now embrace a new opportunity ahead. And God, I continue to pray for our country and for our people and for our leaders and for the doctors and for everyone who's making decisions in this area. I pray for our country and for those people who are struggling with work and are struggling with income. And God, this is just such a hard time. And would you please hold us and preserve us through it? Um, Because we don't know, we have an opportunity to learn through all of this what you're creating out of it. And I thank you so much that you are good and we can trust you in that. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.